This video is going to address investment analysis with the PAB method. And it's going to talk about categorization based on performance drivers and how that fits into investment analysis. When a professional asset manager understands the performance driver concept in managed futures, utilizing this method assists in providing structure and understanding for performance expectations. And this is important when developing a fully diversified portfolio designed to handle a variety of market environments. To provide an overview, the performance driver is utilized as an overlay towards understanding the CTA strategy and developing performance expectations. Particular attention should be given to how the CTA strategy models through periods of market crisis. Certain CTA strategies, which may fare well during most periods of time, might fall down and have very different types of modeling through different volatility events. There are many examples of this in relative value and volatility CTAs, but let's start by considering the most predominant strategy, which is based on the market environment of price persistence. Just because a CTA is a trend follower does not mean they will benefit from all types of price persistence. There are a number of factors that enter into the equation to set performance expectations. Trade time frame, markets traded, trade entry, and exit methodology all fall into the category of alpha performance factors that influence how a CTA captures the market environment and the beta opportunity. Here's an example of a structural look at a CTA analytical process that utilizes this method. First, once we've recognized the beta performance strategy driver, which in this case is price persistence, then we look at other factors that impact performance, such as markets traded, trade time frame. It's important to note, using the system, these strategy components can have different importance relative to the strategy. For instance, in the short volatility strategy, trade time frame is not ranked at the same level of importance as markets traded. Conversely, in the trend following strategy, trade time frame ranks more significantly in importance than it does in the short volatility strategy. As you can see, the system starts from a wide angle, the beta perspective, and moves narrower, focusing on factors of individual alpha. With an appropriate sense of the exposure to beta market environments understood, tackle the CTA and their individual strategy and business objectives. Focus first on risk management protocols. And again, this is a variable that is relative to beta performance driver. If a strategy is exposed to the performance driver of divergence from a statistical mean and then convergence back as a relative value strategy is, they will have different metrics to consider than does a volatility strategy. For instance, benchmarks to leverage usage, margin to equity, drawdown, size of drawdown, win percentage, these are all relative to the strategy. So for instance, a trend follower is going to have different metrics on average than does a volatility strategy. It's important to understand which metrics to take a look at, especially on a going forward basis once an investment has been made. After this, focus on the mechanisms a CTA uses relative to position size in their trade, their individual portfolio management tactics. This is helpful for setting expectations during negative market environments. Consider the performance factors for entering and exiting individual positions and the logic involved. With this understanding, why a CTA might not capture a particular market move is more comprehensible. Once the metrics of the trade variables are dissected, the move to their business operation, trade decision metrics including discretionary overrides on a system, their account options, and transparency and manager background all become individual alpha considerations. What you've been provided is a high-level overview of how to analyze a CTA investment. As I mentioned, there will be a detailed review of a CTA, and you can see how these metrics are applied on an individual basis.